Hey, Troy and Gabriella. We can't believe it's been nearly 14 years since High School Musical premiered. Well, with the way you sing tonight, that's pretty hard to believe. We wondered what the two of you are up to these days. Hopefully, you're still together. It must be pretty cool to know that people are still totally obsessed with you. So much so that there's a whole new High School Musical series. Today's the day we start over. We wonder what you and all your friends think about it. The new High School Musical series on Disney Plus is getting a lot of love from fans and critics. What does the new version have in common with the original movies? What's different? Keep watching for an in-depth comparison of the two High School Musicals. The Style the style of the new High School Musical is the biggest difference between the two. The original film was a classic teen movie. It's the style that we're used to seeing on Disney Channel. The original look took place at a regular high school. There were the theater kids, the smart kids, and the jocks. Troy was a jock who wanted to impress one of the smart girls he met over the holidays by trying out for the High School Musical. She has an amazing voice. Perhaps. The movie was all about the teens and how they reacted to blending their social groups. And it was Troy and Gabriella's love story. It really wasn't even about the musical. The new High School Musical is a mockumentary. It's about the school where the original was filmed. They put on a production of High School Musical. So the original was a musical about a musical. Whereas the new one is a musical about a musical about a musical. It's musical inception. I don't hate musicals. I just think it's weird when people, like, burst into song in the middle of the street. We love the mockumentary style of the new show. The way the actors break the fourth wall and talk to the camera is so cool. The important thing is to have patience and trust that a breakthrough will happen. The premise. Even though the style of the show is different, the storyline has some similarities. In the original movie, Troy realizes he likes singing when he meets Gabriella. They sing a cute love song together. He decides to try out for the musical to get to know her better. He wasn't really into musical theater at all. The guy who gets cast as Troy in the new version also isn't a huge theater geek like the others. Ricky is doing it to impress Nini, who is cast as Gabriella. Hey, I take this seriously. No. No, you don't. You, you don't take anything seriously. That sounds really familiar. There are some major differences, though. There's not a huge divide between the jocks and the theater kids. And other than Troy, all the kids in the musical really want to be there. There's not a lot of shaking up the status quo between the cliches. It's more focused on the interpersonal relationships of the characters. The Troys the OG Troy was played by Zac Efron way back in 2006. It's hard to believe that Zac was ever that young. In the original High School Musical, Troy Bolton was a basketball jock. The school had a great basketball team and Troy was the star player. But you're not just a guy, Troy. You're the team leader. He was expected to get a basketball scholarship and everything. That whole storyline was the premise of High School Musical 2. Zac Efron has a great voice. Fans of High School Musical, mm -hmm. lots of love because they get it. But in the first movie, some of his singing parts were dubbed by another actor, since Zac was busy filming Hairspray for a lot of it. The new Troy is played by Joshua Bassett. He definitely doesn't look like Zac. Joshua plays Ricky Bowen. He's not a jock at all. Instead, he's a guitar player, so we know he loves music already. He's a junior in high school. He previously dated Nini and is trying to win her back. The Gabriellas. In the first movie, Gabriella is a new student at East High School. Her family had just moved to the area. The original Gabriella was played by none other than Vanessa Hudgens. This movie is what really made her famous. In the original, Gabriella is made out to be a total geek. She's super smart, especially in science. Got it? She is also a member of the Scholastic Decathlon team. She's really shy and struggles with her audition for the school musical. The new Gabriella has a lot of differences. Olivia Rodrigo plays Nini Salazar Roberts. She is totally annoyed by Ricky's attempts to win her back. She is a huge fan of musical theater and is really excited about the musical. She announced the musical and there's this part that I really, really want. One really cool thing about the new Gabriella is that she's more than just an actress. Olivia Rodrigo wrote some of the music for the new show. She wrote the song, All I Want, for the November 29th episode. The Teacher 
Do you remember the theater teacher from the original High School Musical? Don't feel bad if you don't. The teacher was meant to be a very small background role. The focus of the franchise was on teenagers, and honestly, that's pretty typical of Disney Channel. But here's a refresher if you don't remember her. The original drama teacher was Mrs. Darbus. Oh, we have zero tolerance for cell phones in class. She was played by Allison Reed, and she was in the first and the last movies. In the new High School Musical, the teacher is a major character. Her name is Miss Jen, and she is a young, new teacher at East High. She is definitely reliving her glory days. Her character was a backup dancer in the original movies. She's so excited to be at East High and is upset that the school has never done a production of High School Musical. She's hilarious and over the top. I added the kiss because our production needs it. Miss Jin is played by Kate Reinders, who was not in the original movies like her character. The setting. You might think that the settings of the two high school musicals are the same. After all, they are both set at East High School, right? Well, it's actually a lot more complicated than that. We know that movies are often shot at different locations than they take place. And that's what is happening with the new high school musical. The original movie took place in Albuquerque, New Mexico. The new TV series also takes place at East High School. But this version of East High School is set in Salt Lake City, Utah. That's a lot farther north than Albuquerque. The actual schools do look very similar, but it has been a long time since the original movies. The original movies were shot in Salt Lake City. Parts were filmed at the real East High School and others were filmed at Murray High School. This could be the start of something new if you subscribe to The Things. For more awesome videos about all things Disney+, Plus, click that big red subscribe button. If you're watching on your mobile, click the settings icon to make sure your notifications are turned on. Stay tuned to find out all about the music in the new High School Musical series. The Tone One of the biggest differences between the new and old high school musicals is the overall tone. The original version was pretty standard for Disney Channel. It's super wholesome. Come here, I'll show you. What? Come here. It's completely family friendly. Any kid of any age could watch the original and not see anything they didn't get. It dealt with real teen issues, but they weren't too deep. Things like blending clicks are something that anyone can understand. The humor was definitely targeting the younger audience. The new High School Musical is a complete 180. It's fresh and edgy. There's a level of sarcasm that just isn't in anything we've ever seen from Disney Channel. It bleeps out bad words while the original didn't put any swear words in the script. It has a more grown-up feeling and is trying to reach older teenagers. Sharpay isn't played by a girl. Nini His best friend calls herself a feminist. Well, we can scratch out number six because that's an act of war. Disney Plus is really setting itself apart from Disney Channel. The Other Characters A new version of a movie comes with a whole new cast of characters. The biggest difference is Sharpay. Ashley Tisdell was the spoiled, dramatic diva from the original movies. Sharpay is played by a boy named Seb in the new version. Seb is a theater fanatic played by Joe Serafini. Troy's best friend in High School Musical is Chad Danforth. Corbin Blue was the original Chad. In the new show, Chad is played by Ricky's rival, EJ. EJ is a jock and musical theater nerd who met Nene at theater camp. Right, there's nothing for you to be nervous about. You went on this summer for the lead role with 20 minutes notice. You didn't miss a beat. He's played by Matt Cornett. Sophia Wiley plays the competitive Gina Porter. She is cast as Taylor, Gabriella's best friend, but she really wants the role of Gabriella. The original Taylor was played by Monique Coleman. There are some totally new characters too. Ricky's best friend is a guy named Big Red. Do you even know the plot of High School Musical? Who is played by Larry Saperstein. Nini's best friend is Courtney. The actress who plays her is Dara Renee. And we can't forget about Carlos. He's a Broadway-obsessed, melodramatic teen who is choreographing the production of High School Musical at East High. Carlos is played by Frankie Rodriguez. The Structure Obviously, there is a huge difference between the structures of the two High School Musicals. The original version was a movie. It's one of the most successful Disney Channel movies ever made. It was so popular that it got two sequels. The new version is a TV show with 10 episodes in the first season, and it's already been renewed for a second season. Because it's a series, we get a lot more time to get to know the characters. We can really dive into their storylines and character development. Honestly, we often wish that the original movies were longer. We can't wait to find out what the second 
second season will be about. Will the students at East High try to put on a production of High School Musical 2? It's also filmed in a different style. Mockumentaries or fake documentaries are totally a fun structure for a TV show. And it is still a musical too. The music. Let's be honest, one of the best parts of the original movies is the music. There are so many great songs like Start of Something New and Get Your Head in the Game. We learned how to stick to the status quo and bop to the top. The love songs were amazing, and who can forget that the students learned that we're all in this together. We have already heard some of these songs in the new series, and we'll hear the rest throughout the season. It's always a little scary to find out if new versions of the songs are going to be as good as the originals, but we love the new versions too. There's also a lot of new music. Nini and Ricky are amazing singers. We love the song, I think I kinda, you know. There's Wondering and A Billion Stars. Plus, Olivia Rodrigo made her songwriting debut with All I Want. It's so beautiful. We can't wait for even more new songs, but we still love all the original music too. And that's a wrap. Are you watching the new High School Musical series? Who's your favorite new character? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Show Troy and Gabriella some love by clicking that big thumbs up button. See you next time.